OK, you want to send emails based on a list in Microsoft Excel. And that email needs to contain a specified attachment. Now, previously, I have created a video on this same topic. And the solution I used there was a VBA macro. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to that tutorial. In this video, we're not going to use a VBA macro. We're going to use Power Automate. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to select rows within this table and it will send an email to the specified recipient with the specified attachment. And the attachments are stored in a folder on my OneDrive called Certificates. Now your first step is to house your data in an Excel table. And the way to do that is to click in any cell in your data and then go up to the Insert tab on your ribbon and click on this Table button. Click on OK down here and then give the table a name. So I'm going to call this Delegate List. Press Enter to store the name. Now this file is saved on OneDrive. So what I'm going to do now is go over to my Microsoft 365 account and create a Power Automate flow. Now, if you don't know how to get to your Power Automate screen, obviously you have to log in to your Microsoft 365 account, and then you'd click on this App Launcher button and select Power Automate down here. Then you'd click on this Create button, and you'd select Instant Cloud Flow. Give your flow a name. I'll call this email course certificates. And then you need to select a trigger for your flow. For us, that's going to be for a selected row. So I'm going to click on create. So next, I need to specify where I've saved this Excel file. For me, that's on OneDrive for business. And the document library is OneDrive. The file I need to navigate to by clicking on this little folder button. And it's in the Courses folder. So I click on this arrow button to show the contents of that folder. And there's the file certificate list. Then I need to specify the table within that file that contains my data. And that's the delegate list table. Now, the next step is to get the flow to get all the files within this certificates folder. So to do that, I'm going to create a new step. And I'm going to type in this search box, list files in folder. And there we have it, list files in folder, OneDrive for business. Now, I need to provide a unique identifier for the folder. So what I do is I navigate to the folder. And this is the folder, the certificates folder. So now I need to loop through each of the files in that folder. And to do that, I create another new step. And this time we're creating a control. And then apply to each. So next, I need to select an output from the previous steps. So to do that, I'm going to click into this box. And then where it says Search Dynamic Content, I'm going to search for Value, and then select it here. So now I need to add another action. And this action is going to be a condition action. So I can see it there. If you can't see it, just type Condition in the search box. Now, what I want to say is if the attachment field, so if we go back to my Excel spreadsheet, we have an attachment field here that contains the name of each attachment. If the attachment text is equal to the file name of one of the files in the certificates folder, then I want to email a certificate. The first thing I need to do is to get the file content for the files within my certificates folder. Now I've typed get file content in the search bar and you can see I have an action here, get file content. 
So I need to provide a unique identifier for the file. And I can do that just by clicking in that box and then choosing this ID field here. So remember, this is looping through each of the files within the certificates folder. So then once I've got the file ID, I can now send an email. So I add an action. And then you type email in the search box here. You'll get some email options. Now, whether you use Office 365 Outlook or say Gmail, the process is the same. I'm using Gmail, so I'm going to click on that button. And then you'd select send email version two. It'll be the same for Outlook. So in the two box, you need to specify the email address that appears in the selected rows within your spreadsheet. So to do that, you click on add dynamic content. And then you want to select email formatted. Now for the subject, we're going to include the recipient's name. So we can pick that up again from this list. So first name formatted, comma, is your certificate. And in the body, we're going to say hi, and then the person's name again. And then we'll say congratulations on completing the, and then we'll have the course name, course, please find course certificate attached. Cheers, Chester. The next thing we need to do is attach the certificate to the email. So you can see here, I've got attachment name and attachments content. Now, if you can't see those fields, click on show advanced options. I think they show with Gmail by default, but not for Outlook. So we click in this attachment name field, and we need to select the name of the file. So we can do that down here. And then attachment content, you'd select file content. Okay. So the other branch doesn't need any actions. So if we don't find a certificate in the certificates folder that matches the name in our Excel list, we don't want to do anything. So we've effectively completed our flow. So we'll click on this Save button. And now we'll go back to Excel and see if we can get this flow to work. To get the flow to work in Excel, you're going to need to download the Power Automate add-in. Now, if you've already downloaded it, it'll be on the Data tab over here in a group called Automation. But if you haven't got that app, just go to the Insert tab on your ribbon and click on Get Add-ins. And you would search for Power Automate. And then you'd need to add that to Excel. So if I go to Data and then click on Flow, it opens up this task pane on the right of my worksheet. Now, if it's the first time you've used this add-in, it will ask you to sign into your Microsoft account. But once you've done so, it will list the flows that are available for this workbook. And you can see we've got our email course certificates flow ready and waiting to be used. So to use this flow, I need to first of all select the rows that I want to send emails for. And then I click on this little play button next to this flow name. And then I click on continue. Then I click on run flow. Okay, let's switch to Gmail and see if this has worked. You'll notice that I'm sending all of the emails to myself. Okay, so I'm in my Gmail account. And here are the emails. I click on this email. Congratulations on completing your Excel Fundamentals course. Please find course certificate attached. And there is the course certificate. You can see I've also got one for Lorene. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.